This is Smiles TV. Watching the best community affairs broadcast in the land. I'm Stephanie Anthony Miles and welcome to Smiles TV. We have a dynamic broadcast for you today. We have a young lady who's an Olympic champion from East St. Louis, Illinois. Her name is Dawn Harper Nelson. I'm going to read this because I don't want to miss anything. Dawn Harper Nelson was born May 13th. 1984. She is an, an American track and field athlete who specializes in the 100 meter hurdles. She was a gold medalist in the event at the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games and the silver medalist in the 2012 London Olympic Games. She also won the 2017 World Championships. And I'm just so grateful that she's agreed to be a guest on Smile Television. I've been trying to get this young lady for a very long time, and thank God she's here. This broadcast is sponsored by the Census Bureau. The Census is so important. Be sure you're counted in the 2020 Census. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried, and he rose on the third day. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. Stay tuned for more smiles. It pays to participate in the 2020 decennial census and it can positively affect our community. Everyone in your household needs to be counted. To complete the census form, go to my2020census.gov. It is important, safe, and absolutely confidential. Remember, go to my2020census.gov because you count. When in need of residential and commercial construction projects from roofing, siding, flooring, including all interior carpentry, painting, and more, you need a company that is efficient, effective, and professional. A company that will complete the job on time. You need On Time Contracting Incorporated. On-Time Contracting provides quality work completed in a timely manner. Oliver McDowell, founder and owner of On-Time Contracting, is insured and bonded and provides an array of services for residential and commercial facilities. Contact On-Time Contracting for your many residential or commercial construction, roofing, cleaning, or other needs at 618-567-3591. That's 618-567-3591. On Time Contracting Incorporated. Your project can indeed be completed on time. Every 10 years, the U.S. Census gives communities across America the chance to get the funding they need. But there's a catch. The money is based on counting an accurate number of residents in each state. The fewer people we count, the less money Illinois gets. In Illinois, we deserve our fair share, and it starts with all of us being counted. Visit my2020census.gov or text 987-987 to learn how you can fill out the census today. Welcome back to Smiles. And this is our first Skype episode. You know, COVID-19 has given us a new normal. So Smiles Television, by the grace of God, is trying something different. And Don Harper has been gracious enough to be our first guest. Hi, Don. How are you? Hello. I'm doing great. And like you said, it is our new normal. Yes, we are on Skype doing the interview. <laughs> we, are, we are on Skype doing an interview. Don, I have been trying to get you for so long. You are so busy and you're such an athlete. You got family, a lot of things going on. Thank you again. I, I really um, thank God for you. Don, a lot of people, we know you, the world actually knows you, but we have a chance to be up front and close while we're doing our social distancing <laughs> with the Skype. But if you will, just give our audience a little background about your family, how you grew up, and, and, and how you have done things to lead you to where you are today. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's oh. a lot. Okay, background oh. and family. 
<laughs> no, it's fine. I um I yes, I'm from East St. Louis, uh, Illinois. Um I am so proud to be there. I always say no matter where I go, um, I have East St. Louis uh, on my shoulders and on my back. I wear it proudly on my chest. Um, and, you know, being raised with my parents, they were, I would say, relatively strict. We were very much about education. Um, that was just the understanding in our household. You have to get your education. Sports comes next. Not mm. first, it comes next. Okay. And, um, you know, I ran for Coach Fenoy. I competed in the hurdles. That was my love. After we fell in love with track and field, the hurdles was my love. And I ran for him since I was 12 years old wow. until yeah, until 18 when I went off to college. And I was blessed uh, to get a full ride to UCLA because I did well at Eastside, have state records. Um, and so when I went to UCLA on a full ride, you know, it was I feel like my family prepared me really well. They always made me understand that there is a bigger world out there. You do have a part in it, but there is a big world out there. Um and when I got to UCLA, it was great to be added into the family there um, and just seeing the different culture and everything. It just opened my eyes to so much more. And so I was just blessed to go off to UCLA and get a degree because education. My mother said, don't you come back to this house without a degree. <laughs> and so, you know, just really having a really good upbringing. And um, I'm very family oriented. Okay. So for me, growing up always going over my family got together at my aunt Flossie's house. I love to say her because she just plays a huge role in my life even now. Um, so my family constantly got together. And so I had aunts and uncles in my life that just poured just knowledge and faith mm. um, and just things into me. And so you, you mentioned, you mentioned a gentleman, um, Nino Fanoi. Um, I call him the greatest coach in the world. You know, people yes. can say what they want, but we have the greatest coach in the world right in East St. Louis, Illinois. And um, mm -hmm. something else, um, just by mentioning the fact that you ran at East Side, and I'll mm -hmm. tell you, you know, I'm a little older than you, but I also ran track at East Side. <laughs> and then uh -huh. I was a hurdler. I didn't go as far as you, but I was a hurdler. And mm -hmm. um, that was a girl at the time, Kim mm -hmm. Adams. And yeah. Kim and I learned hurdles together. I can remember watching a guy named Eugene Bird run hurdles. His mm -hmm. form was so beautiful. And I <laughs> said, oh, I want to do that. And we learned how to run it. Mm -hmm. Kim Adams was super fast. I was not fast. Coach, coach yeah, Kim, her name was Kim Adams at the time, but Kim Adams yeah. Jennings. Thank that, you child, <laughs> that child was so fast, but my legs were long and my form mm -hmm. was excellent. And I'm not bragging about the grace of God. I really learned how to really, I had great form, but I was not fast. So we ran back and forth. And it was just unfortunate. I heard um, just recently, Kim has um, passed as a result of the COVID-19 um, virus. And, um, and she had ended up being a coach at Eastside. So you, did you um, work under Kim at all? Yeah, I she coached me as well. Um, and she was just uh, very influential. You know, she was someone she was also very good at uh, expressing how, the technique and how it should be done over the hurdles. Um, and, you know, seeing her do a little some some herself, you know, she would do that. I still got it. You know, I'm like, OK, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, I still go up there often um, to see the track girls and interact with them. And, you know, she's been there every day. And so for me, I was telling my mom last night, she called to tell me, you know, when her funeral would be. And I just remember saying to her, I feel like it's not going to hit me until I go back to Eastside and she's not there. She's right. such, I mean, she's a staple for me. She's, she's Eastside as well. So that's, yeah. That's right. Gonna be that's right. Um, let me ask you this. Um, with all of your accomplishments, professionally mm -hmm. and personally, what do you consider your greatest accomplishment? Um, this, I thought about this, um, you know, because I've been asked before and I really feel like the juggling that I've done between my personal life to have, a, I feel a successful personal life and a successful track career, because, you know, winning gold is not easy in juggling a personal life because you have to be in sports. You have to be very selfish to attain that goal. And so, you know, to go to 2012 and, to know that I wanted to be a wife and a mom outside of this, but I didn't want to step away from track and field. And I feel like many times us women have to make that decision. You have to, it's one or the other. And for me, um, so my most successful thing is having the career that I've had and being one of the best hurdlers, you know, ever 
and to have a personal life and to say, I believe that me and my husband are genuinely happy and then to have my daughter. So, um, so to say, to juggle the two really, um, to have gold medals in a personal life. Wow. So that, that's, that's a great uh, response. What about, um, maybe your toughest times? Mm -hmm. What are some of those? Yeah, what have they those, been? those would have to be, um, that, that comes to mind right away are my knee injuries, the injuries that I've had, because um, I've had an injury before where I tore my PCL and meniscus in my knee, you know, and doctors are like, you won't, you won't be able to run as fast. You know, your career is probably over to go to the next level. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, this is my dream. Wow. Like this is, I, the way that I see myself in the future is running professionally. And to think that that would be halted right in that moment was, it's one of those where you, for me, I just have to stop and just cry out to God. And I just, I didn't understand, you know, why this, this, this trial was placed for me. I'm like, I don't want to go through this. I don't want to have to overcome this. Mm. And, you know, really just having to accept that God believed that I was strong enough to handle this and that so much more will come out of it and his glory will come out of it. So for me, just dealing with these injuries that I say, you know, just it, could have been the death of my professional career dealing with those. So give me, if you will, an example of, um, of a Don Harper Nelson workout. Ooh, okay. Well, uh, a workout. I'm on the track for about two, two and a half hours. Um, you know, you do your job. My job uh, consists of about mm, seven minute job. Um, you know, you're stretching typically, you know, I probably had a workout before, so I'm really tight. So I really have when you're stretching, you really have to um, kind of get out the rest of the soreness. You know, you're rolling on your balls that I have. I have a lacrosse ball, a softball uh, rolling on that. And then, you know, you get to your drills. You start off easy and then you get aggressive and then it's time to get down to business, you know. And typically, um, you know, for me, I'm a very if my coach says run this time. I am very disciplined in, and I'm disappointed if I don't hit a time. I say that I'm the most automatic runner. You know, if a coach says come through the line at, you know, 12, 13 seconds, I'm 12, 13 seconds. I don't, you know, I don't like to waver from that time. And so um, what I, what you try and do mentally though, I think the most important thing about my workouts is the mindset. You know, before I really try to talk to myself and say, you know, this workout is for speed. So we really have to, you know, ramp up, you know, the energy and we got to come with it. This is going to be, just like a race for you. So you have to hit these times. You have to execute in the beginning. And um, and then when it gets hard, I always tell myself, and I always tell athletes, you have to remember, this is when the workout starts, and this is when you have to want it the most. Wow. When it's easy, everybody wow. does it. you know. But when it gets hard and your body's saying, I'm done, that's when mentally you have to check in and say, look, look, I'm getting on the podium because I'm going to push past this barrier. And so you know, those workouts, you're just like, Lord... Why? <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, so so you you got a lot going on with your workouts now. You've just had a baby. Yes. And we're we're locked in now. We're in shutdown. Okay, now bring us up to speed. How are you coping today? Yes. Uh, well, I am really, really, really blessed to have a, a husband that is extremely involved. And so being locked in, he's a um, high school math teacher. So he still has to, you know, um, do Zoom calls and calls with his students. And so he's on there from so I wake up and I wake up in the morning and I'm the one to get my daughter out of bed um, because he's on calls with his students. And so, you know, I'm getting her together, you know, her breakfast. We do, you know, I call it school time. You know, we're still learning our ABCs, one, two, threes. Um, and so after that, you know, I put her back down for a nap. Then I have to eat my lunch. Because practice is going to start about two, and that's more of when my husband kind of kicks in. Mm. And I'm kind of like, you get her ready. You get things going. Mama's got to switch the mindset from being a mom to now being an athlete. Um, and so now I either train in the neighborhood, um, which has been so wonderful because my neighbors, they're driving by or they're like in their doorways like, you got it. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and so or we go to the park that's by us where there's really no one out there. Mm -hmm. it's, Mm -hmm. You know, we go to a corner and I do my little strides and things. And so many times I just go there because the surface being on a soccer field is softer than running on concrete. Right. And so that adjustments, you know, that I've had to make. Um, but, yeah, so just juggling that. And my daughter's at all of my practices now. And so, you know, in between reps, you know, I go over, kiss her, hug her, you know, <laughs> feel the mommy. 
And so it's been, but we've been pretty much locked in. I just train here at the house for the most part. Now you, you don't know this, um, or maybe you do, but back in the day when we ran track and I actually ran with Jackie Joyner mm-hmm. as well. Now Jackie's a couple of years older than I do. And I tell people I used to beat Jackie. Okay. But she was like five, but I was 10. <laughs> Maybe not that, maybe not quite that large of a difference, but we were kids at the time. And we ran at Parsons Field. And that track was like cinders. And you talk (laughs) about always having shin splints and what have you. That was it. And and I'm saying that to bring us back to the census, believe it or not. Because, see, some of those dollars from the Census Bureau actually help schools um, get built. And and the, the beautiful track and field that we have at Eastside. Those, you know, the yeah. schools are were able to 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 gain um, additional things because people participate in the census, and and I know we got you on camera plugging mm-hmm. the census, and we're gonna play that commercial, um, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna come back real quickly, okay? Okay. Stay tuned for more smiles. We'll be right back. Every person who doesn't fill out the census means less money for Illinois. That's money we could use for new school programs to help our children thrive and succeed, for paving roads and ensuring more reliable public transportation, and for improving our hospitals and clinics so everyone gets the best health care. In Illinois, we deserve our fair share. Visit my2020census.gov or text 987-987 to learn how you can fill out the census today. It pays to participate in the 2020 decennial census, and it can positively affect our community. Everyone in your household needs to be counted. To complete the census form, go to my2020census.gov. It is important, safe, and absolutely confidential. Remember, go to my2020census.gov because you count. Don, thank you so much for that commercial on the Census Bureau. You evidently understand, too, how important the census is. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think about school funding. That's a huge thing for me, you know, just giving back, you know, to the community and us filling out that census is really going to help with the funding. Um, Like I said, I'm at Eastside a lot. And so I see what the funding does and it's needed. So, yeah, let's do that. Fill it out. That's right. That's right. Don, the Olympics, um, was it a heartbreaker when COVID came in? And they had to cancel. What were your what was going through your mind? And what are you gonna do now? Oh man, immediately, you know, I just said that was not the plan. It was not the plan to have to push my training, you know, just for another year because the biggest plan was obviously being on that podium, training, getting back from having my daughter train for 2020. And then me and my husband wanted to have another child. And so, you know, to really think of pushing it back to 2021, we had to sit down and have that decision. Like, is this what we want for our family? Um, and we feel like, you know, still the Olympics, it still is just, it seems like once in a lifetime thing. And so my drive, my goal is still to go for it. So my husband said, let's go for it. So we're training for 2021. Um, and really just trying to stay focused on that, staying sane in the house, staying happy um, and making sure that I'm enjoying this process, that my family, my daughter is, you know, seeing mommy work out. And we're, she's still having a very lively childhood, you know, just at the age of one. And mm. so, um, you know, you ask, you know, what would be next, you know, for me? And that's obviously a real question because 2021 is it for dawn. And so I think about um, when I've done interviews and things uh, throughout my career in track and field, I've always felt very comfortable in front of, you know, the camera. And I've had, you know, a lot of feedback saying you you're you're coming across well, you know, you're just you're doing so well. You read your lines well or you answered well. And so I just think to myself, like, why not try and turn that into, you know, my next career? And so I want to do some broadcasting, um, you know, or some acting. You know, I've even thought about just being comfortable and enjoying a personality, creating a character and portraying that across the camera. And so um, I really want to step out into that and see, you know, how that will go for me. I think I think I have fun with that as well. Wow. And you have actually done your own television interviews and things. I I caught a (laughs) clip of you doing some things and I'm talking with you now and you talk more than I do. So so you have a gift of gab. You're a beautiful woman and you're going to do well. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe you'll come in and do some special appearances on on Smiles. And that sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, everybody heard her. This is going around right. the world. Right. <laughs> Don, thank you so very much for being a guest. Is there anything you would like to say in terms of words of encouragement 
for others um, who may be wanting to walk in your footsteps? Oh, absolutely. Um, when I think of, you know, what was um, so influential and vital for me, especially at a younger age or during my times of just tough times, I think of understanding uh, no one said it's going to be easy. You have to make the, de the decision to say, this is what I want. This is my dream. This is my goal. Um, do your research on whatever your goal is, the ultimate goal, and say, what does it take to get there? What have the greats done? Um, and really put your mind to it and create a support system around you, family, friends that will encourage you, encourage you, encourage you during those tough times because it will be needed. And listen, the sky is the limit. You can, whatever you put your mind to, seriously, you can go for it and do it. Don, thank you so very much. Those words were encouraging to me, and I thank God for you. Everybody, Don Harper Nelson, an Olympic champion, Olympic hurdler, and I, I, I love her. You can just see this child in person. Her personality just comes through, and she just shines all around our community in East St. Louis, but now around the world. I want to thank you for tuning in to Smiles Television, and if you will, download the On Point Network app, Download the P. Chapman Network app. You can do it on Roku, Amazon, um, and you can see Smiles Television on there. We're also on Dynasty Television and other broadcast um, platforms throughout the area. Just look us up, Smiles TV. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last, and Jesus is the Lord. The Lord be magnified. Every person who doesn't fill out the census means less money for Illinois. That's money we could use for new school programs to help our children thrive and succeed, for paving roads and ensuring more reliable public transportation, and for improving our hospitals and clinics so everyone gets the best health care. In Illinois, we deserve our fair share. Visit my2020census.gov or text 987-987 to learn how you can fill out the census today. When in need of residential and commercial construction projects from roofing, siding, flooring, including all interior carpentry, painting, and more, you need a company that is efficient, effective, and professional. A company that will complete the job on time. You need On Time Contracting Incorporated. On Time Contracting provides quality work completed in a timely manner. Oliver McDowell, founder and owner of On Time Contracting, is insured and bonded and provides an array of services for residential and commercial facilities. Contact On-Time Contracting for your many residential or commercial construction, roofing, cleaning, or other needs at 618-567-3591. That's 618-567-3591. On-Time Contracting Incorporated. Your project can indeed be completed on time. The Smiles Television Talk Show wants to showcase your business, organization, church, and activities. If you have an interest in being a guest on Smiles Television Talk Show, or if you have any show ideas, contact Stephanie Anthony Miles at smilestv777 at gmail.com. You may also call 618-741-3770. Tell your friends to subscribe to the Smiles YouTube channel. Let Smiles TV increase your reach. Remember, you look better with smiles. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Image a nation. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Mm. Wow, wow.